Hello everyone. This is my slideshow on my study that I chose. The title of it is called Prevalence of Chronic Kidney Diseases and Its Determinants Among Iranian Adults. This is the results of the first phase of the Shahida cohort study. So for the first slide, we're gonna go over the methods, the design, general summary of the research question. Chronic kidney disease, or known as CKD, is a global health issue that can cause mortality. CKD is a chronic disease that is classified in stages based on the estimated glomerular filtration rate, or known as EGFR. It can come in stages one, two, three, four, or five, and after stage five, a patient would then be, would then be diagnosed with end-stage renal disease, or ESRD. Quote, CKD is defined as an abnormality of kidney structure or function present for greater than three months with health impl implications. And this came from the study, Dehgani et al, 2022. The study's goal is to determine the prevalence and determinants of CKD in the location of Yazid, Iran. They use the Shadaya cohort study. The methods used is a cross-sectional study that was conducted on 9,978 adults from 30 to 73 years of age. The study started on May 5, 2015, and the study ended on September 2016. The participants were selected by multi-stage cluster random sampling. Quote, the data used in the study included demographic and clinical variables in blood samples. Adjusted odd, odds ratios were in Employed using multivariate logistic regression. Meanwhile, population attributable risks for CKD were calculated and reported. End quote. Degane et al. 2022. The characteristics of the participants included age, sex, education level, marital status, occupation, physical characteristics such as BMI and waist to hip ratio, the amount of water consumption, and the medical history. Of the 9,978 original participants, 197 were missing data and they were removed from the study making the total 9,781. The article shows that they tested participants creatinine, cholesterol, which is HDL or LDL, and their EGFR. They also asked about their smoking history, alcohol consumption history, and drug use history. For this slide, we're going to discuss the use of relative risk or odds ratio in the research and what estimates of risk were discussed. In the article, they used odds ratio and they broke everything down um, by reasons. So from the article, the CKD prevalence was 27.5% in all participants with 24% in male and 30.3% in female. Quote, the results of the multivariate logistic regression analysis identified age with odds ratio of 1.89, women odds ratio 1.62, BMI odds ratio 1.4, diabetes odds ratio 1.38, hypertriglyceridemia odds ratio 1.2, history of cardiovascular disease odds ratio 1.2, hypertension odds ratio 1.18, Smoking, odds ratio 1.17. LDL cholesterol is greater than or equal to 130 with odds ratio of 1.15. History of kidney stone, odds ratio of 1.14. Hypercholesterolemia, odds ratio of 1.14. As risk factors for chronic kidney disease. And this came from the study de Ghani et al, 2022. Among individual factors, obesity had 11.25%, hypertriglyceridemia 9.21%, LDL greater than or equal to 130, 7.12%, had the greatest population attributable fraction, followed by hypercholesterolemia 5.2%, diabetes 5.05%, smoking 3.73%, and high blood pressure 2.82%. And this came from the study, Degani et al. So basically, we understand that of those risk factors, 
those listed had the highest attributable risk for getting chronic kidney disease. The article will discuss PAR estimates and they will often provide a summary, um, a PAR percent table or list. So um, from the study, quote, among individual factors, obesity, hypertriglyceridemia, have, and a greater than or equal to 130 cholesterol LDL had the greatest population attributable fraction, followed by hypercholesterolemia, diabetes, smoking, and high blood pressure. That came from the study, Degani et al. 2022. For the next slide, we're going to discuss the research and the results of the study and the implications towards prevention. We're gonna explain what the researchers discussed regarding prevention and or contributions to public health and medicine as a result of their findings. The article's results show that the main quote, the main determinants of CKD are potentially modifiable risk factors, end quote, Degani et al, 2022. So this means from the above list of risk factors from the previous slide, there are many of them that a person could change in order to prevent chronic kidney disease. The results of the study show that the female sex, older age, BMI, diabetes, high triglyceride, hypertension, and smoking were all relevant to the CKD diagnosis. Based on their research, the amount of water consumed, marital status, and education level all did not show an association with chronic kidney disease. So this means that females, the older they are, BMI, those are all of the things that um, contributed to CKD. And this comes from the study, quote, since key CKD prevalence elevates with age, screening for CKD among individuals more than 50 years or older is suggested to be integrated into the primary healthcare system, end quote, Degani et al, 2022. So for this idea, that would be great because it can be a preventative tool to screen patients and help treat or manage early stage chronic kidney disease. For this slide, we're going to discuss the, based on the PAR percent, those factors, um, how will this health issue in the article um, be treated? What are some, what are two examples of some public health prevention programs that are addressing the health issue? Um, so for CKD, um, you know, most of the people in the study that developed it um, already had obesity, as um, one of their health um, risks, as well as um, cholesterol or diabetes. So the two things that I picked out were on this slide. So the PAR percent results show that obesity, high triglycerides, high LDL cholesterol, diabetes, smoking, and high blood pressure are all the main risk factors for developing CKD. To prevent obesity, the public health prevention program would involve eating healthier foods, limiting unhealthy foods, increasing your physical activity. So in the United States, we have the US Department of Health and Human Services. They started a data-driven national objective to help improve the health of Americans over the next decade. So then this one's called Healthy People 2030. They have objectives with addressing overweight and obesity in America. And their goal is to quote, reduce overweight and obesity by helping people eat healthy and get physical activity. That came from the US Department of Health and Human Services. Um, to reduce diabetes, the CDC in America has the National Diabetes Prevention Program called the NDPP. They are a quote, partnership of public and private organizations working to prevent or delay type two diabetes, end quote. That came from the CDC 2021. And their main focus is on healthy eating and increasing physical exercise among the public to prevent diabetes. So basically in summary, if we reduce um, the unhealthy foods, um, increase healthier foods, um, increase our physical activity, um, all those are great things that we can do to help prevent chronic kidney disease, especially as we age, um, as I said earlier, 50 or older is whenever the chronic kidney disease really starts to take off. So those are the two prevention programs in America.